They are vast, icy worlds composed almost entirely of dense clouds of gas. But the giant planets Neptune and Uranus could also have cores composed of exotic materials. Scientists studying the strange compounds that form at the high pressures found in the hearts of these icy gas giants claim they may have interiors made from strange crystals. Among these compounds are the highly unstable substance orthocarbonic acid, also known as Hitler's acid due to the swastika shape the atoms form. At the huge pressures that exist at the center of these frozen gas giants, more than 4 million times the pressure at sea level on Earth, strange organic plastics also begin to form beneath their thick atmospheres. Professor Artem Okunov, head of the Moscow Institute of Physics and Technology's Computational Materials Discovery Laboratory, said, the smaller gas giants, Uranus and Neptune, consists largely of carbon, hydrogen and oxygen. We have found that at a pressure of several million atmospheres unexpected compounds should form in their interiors. The cores of these planets may largely consist of these exotic materials. The researchers, whose work is published in the journal Scientific Reports, used algorithms that predict crystal structures and compounds that form at high pressures. They have previously shown that unknown variants of salt that have far more sodium and chlorine atoms than normal can form at pressures that exist in the interiors of so-called super-Earth. They have also found that exotic new oxides of magnesium, silicon and aluminium can also form at these high pressures. However, the team decided to look at what would happen when organic molecules composed of carbon, hydrogen and oxygen are subjected to these pressures. These are the main elements that are found in the atmospheres of Uranus and Neptune. Professor Ogunov said, this is an extremely important system because all organic chemistry rests on these three elements, and until now it had not been entirely clear how they behave under extreme pressures and temperatures. In addition, they play an essential role in the chemistry of the giant planets. Neptune's core is thought to be subject to pressures up to 8 million times that of Earth's atmosphere. The core of Uranus is thought to reach around 7.9 million times that of Earth's atmosphere. Professor Ogunov and his team found that at pressures above 93 gigapascals, about 930,000 times Earth's atmosphere, methane begins to decompose. Instead it forms heavier hydrocarbons and at pressures above 400 GPA, 4 million times the Earth's atmosphere, several new substances began to form. These include an unusual clathrate, a lattice of hydrogen and methane that is capable of trapping other compounds within it. They also found that carbonic acid becomes thermodynamically stable. This substance normally needs strong acids for its synthesis and can only exist in a vacuum at very low temperature. These may form thick layers that form around the rocky metallic cores of Neptune and Uranus. This formed at around 0.95 GPA, around 10,000 times the Earth's atmosphere which is thought to be similar to the pressures found inside the icy moons like Europa, which orbits Jupiter. It was previously thought that the oceans in these satellites are in direct contact with the rocky core and the chemical reaction took place between them, said Professor Okinot. Our study shows that the core should be wrapped in a layer of crystallized carbonic acid, which means that a reaction between the core and the ocean would be impossible. When the pressure rises to 44 GPA, the scientists' models predicted that carbonic acid is converted into a polymer, a type of plastic, which remains stable until 400 GPA. At 314 GPA, carbonic acid and water also react to form orthocarbonic acid, a molecule that has yet to be produced successfully in laboratories as it is so unstable. It is possible that the cores of Neptune and Uranus may contain significant amounts of a polymer of carbonic acid and orthocarbonic acid, explained Professor Okinot.